In today's video, we are using our scraps to make beautiful, unusual edges. Stay tuned for the tutorial. So we are making unusual edges and in the same style as the ruffles that we did before. These are unusual because you can get them ready before you actually put them in your journals. I um, did these for the Spring Blossom digital series, or not digital, but, the, but there was a kit too, <laughs> but the Spring Blossom series. And so there's a whole lot of ripping that I'm going to do. So I'm going to do some mulberry paper. Um, maybe you have some of the binding strips. Okay, so there we need to make six of these. They should be six inches long. Okay, one, two, three, four. And this time, I think we will go ahead and also bring in some of our checked paper here. Looking them. Okay, so there's those. Let's look through and Okay, so unusual edges is what we're going to do this time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rip a piece of this. Um, you guys, this was like drawing paper that I had in my, in my stash. And let's measure. Yeah, we'll be six inches if we go boom, just like that, so that... I want these wider pieces, I think, for for my base. Now they you can have a variety of bases. And I think we'll even get down here into some of this. Okay. Since the metal ruler happened to be out, you know, why not? Why not go ahead and use, use it? Okay. We'll use that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So these are, should be about six inches. And so what we're going to do is we are going to just glue strips on top of each other. But instead of these, this part doesn't need to be six inches. Your total needs to be six inches long. So I am going to stack my pieces of paper on top of each other to get something different than normal. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start by getting our base and then remember we need to do three other things to our um, to it as well. So one of the things we could just really quickly go ahead and I have this that Okay, so this can be one of, stenciling is, can be one of your three things. So if I'm changing my paper by stenciling it, okay, so there, that changed my paper. Okay, and then we can go ahead and add a strip of glue. Okay, and I'm going to put the, the line on the inside of this. And... Then I'm going to put this one over the top of that. But I think I want to add just, just for something different. I 
happen to have a piece of lace here that um, I just found in the... I have a little scrap drawer that just has total random things in it, and there was a little random piece of lace in there, and I was like, oh, well, we should be using that up. So, because that's what this is all about, using up your scraps, okay? So, then I can go ahead, put this down. So, my lace is something different. My three pieces is my actual edge. So we've done one, we added lace, that's two. And remember we needed a flower down lower on a, on a thing. So we are gonna go ahead and we'll make us a Rapunzel hair real quick. And of course we're all tangled. I tried to do something <laughs> something different and I tangled. Okay, so around four fingers, around three fingers, around four fingers. You guys, all that the Rapunzel hair is, is it is gold thread. I have a variety of gold threads that I like to use. This one's a little bit thicker. Um, I, was, I was given a whole bunch of thread um, from my aunt that her and she and her mom quilted and she's like I am never gonna use all this and um, so my mom it a lot of it was given to my mom and then of course it then I I ended up with it as well so but then I have for years I have been purchasing the uh, metal threads at like Michael's and um, Joann's and so that's that's what I have there um, I think I do have up here some yeah there we go some of our and it's okay to, to go with you know to get an idea and use that several times like I'm doing here this this flower with the fluffy flower piece it's a piece of a fluffy flower from the atlas or the Thomas guide or whatever it's it's from a map book of some sort and then our bling okay so that gives me an edge now you see we can go ahead and just like we glued that other one this will be able to be glued on now it is not limited to going on um, on the edge of the paper it can go on the edge of an envelope we'll be able to use that and I've added one of the the word um, stickers that we've been using okay so um, you know just to do something a little different now I've got some of the ledger and I again am going to do something to this with we need to change the color of it a little Okay, so there we changed that color. I think this time I'm gonna go ahead and add a piece of the fabric. Okay, so I have this fabric that was in this box of scraps. Because what I like I told you yesterday, I grabbed a random box of scraps okay so that I don't want that to be my top my top piece I think we'll go ahead and let this let that be my top piece I mean not my top piece let's go with okay so this is more similar to like what I did on some of the ones 
um, in the spring blossom and I will try and find that and it will um, be at the end of the video so like we did the ruffles it's okay to put some ruffles on your edges these are unusual edges you can do whatever you want to to make them unusual okay so I'm gonna ruffle this one okay so I'm just grabbing okay and then instead of going through and pulling it down I'm gonna grab this like this and up here somewhere is a piece of oh let's let's use some of the grain okay let's go to the other side better do better hurry though whatever you're gonna do Julie you better hurry okay so this is what I'm gonna use to hold that down okay and I think we'll grab a dot 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 and put that on top just like that okay so that is our second one and you can see how these are going to be really cool on being able to be used throughout the journal. Because, you know, when you are making your ephemera first, which is a little different. Okay, so I'm pulling this piece off. I didn't like those numbers down there. And so this is a... I'm putting this in here. This is um, from my sister's music book that when she was learning to play the guitar, they had her writing her own music. And so she had a music book that, um, and I can't find any of where she, the ones that, if she wrote any or anything, I just have the, the book where she wrote on the front of it. And then I have um, the blank pages. So I very sparingly have used these. So I'm thinking this time we'll bring in a piece of the, yeah, piece of the um, Dollar Tree lace. Okay. I am going to use the fabric tack. put that right in between those music pieces and then we have this ribbon ooh we have this ribbon this might be kind of fun to use because um, yeah I think we'll use this one because I don't have very much of it even though it has daisies on it I should be saving it for the the daisy journal because I've almost got enough ephemera for a daisy digital kit. So, um, you know, if that's something that interests you, you might start saving your daisy stuff. You know, as you're going through things, you might have a fun, fun little daisy type things that you come across. And so that will be hopefully coming, coming soon. Okay. Um, go ahead and put some gobbledy goop down. And I, you know what I, you know what I want to do? I want to do 
um, you know the abstract flower that we did out of the tissue paper? I think I want to do one of those on this piece of lace. So that was, we did this for the abstract um, altered paper clips. And we made a rose. So I think, you know, it may be kind of fun to have another one. I'm just twirling this. After you've made one, you kind of, your brain goes, oh, you know what you should have done? So that's what's happening here. I was like, oh, you know what I should have done? Okay, so we're going to start in the center. Let's go ahead and make a snail. Okay, that's what I'm going to do right here is make a little snail. If you were actually making like a little spring wildlife journal, you totally could make a snail out of this. Okay. Okay, so we have our, our background piece. We have some lace here. And now we are adding this rose. Crumble it up and then spin it. Okay, and you don't want to spin it like like a rope you because you want the or I want the the different texture especially on this outside piece okay and what made me think of this was you know the lace that you can buy now that's the pieces of like tool or chiffon or whatever so there we go Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay, and then maybe... Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some glue down. Okay, there we go. Beautiful beautiful edge. If you're here at the premiere, I'm waving. Hi. And say hello to Olive. Hi, Olive. I'm so glad you've joined us today. If this is your first Dear Julie Julie premiere, just know that we are here using the premiere format and that means we get to have a live chat. So if you're joining us at 1030 Pacific Standard Time, you can join us in that live chat by hitting that live chat button. Come on over, say hello, introduce yourself, and so we can all get to know each other. We also have our Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. It's a great place for you to be able to post your projects and get to know each other better over there. And don't forget, there is a free digital in the file section. While we are at home, safer at home. Also, the Yaya Collage Digital is on sale for 50% off in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop this weekend, along with its companion digitals. I hope you'll check that out. So let's get back to our program. Okay, so we did one with the music background, one with this background, one with this background that's really long. I'm sorry we've got all this stuff in the way, but you know that's that's normal for <laughs> for me. Um, okay, so we have this cool piece. Isn't that cool? That's a cool piece. I think that's a really cool piece. We have this. You guys, I've been collecting little pieces of things up here also getting for the snippet because we'll be making a um, Okay, so we have all these. We'll be making a 16 inch snippet roll also for this um, challenge. So saving those items that I'll be able to use. 
So this is a branding strip. So I've added a branding strip here from the paper pad I'm using. Then I have this little piece from the ledger and it's long. I love this because it's got numbers on it. Oh my gosh, that is, okay. So, and you can see where, the, I mean, the, yours will be different because of what, what you have to play with. I'm gonna go and put this one up. Okay, let's clean that off. I need to have something here just to clean these, clean this off. Because it's, okay. So there, we're gonna put that little piece of fabric down right here. But I wanna see those numbers. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And then, looking around, One of the things that I've been doing that's been kind of cool is using the binding string to, to tie around things. Okay, so if we tie and leave the edge. So remember this for other challenges, because um, usually you can always use your binding kit in the Dear Julie Julie challenges. So um, you know, pay attention when when we use binding kit ideas, because you'll be able to use those in upcoming. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and use our flower here. Oh, do you see what I did? I, I grabbed the plastic part and threw the threw the other part. Okay, so we're gonna want um, one of our fluffy flowers. And that has six, so we'll leave that one alone. So this is the bling that I get at Michael's. Okay, that gives us four. Okay, here's another, since we have it, right here, there's that. There's that. Um, what if we... There's that. Okay, so this time we go ahead and put our long piece down first. Last time we put our lace down first. So if we put our long piece down, there's long piece down. Okay. Then our lace. Okay, so your unusual edges, you are stacking layers of collage. That is, that is what it is. Stacking layers of collage. Using scraps from your, your journal. 
Okay, so I have this. Go ahead and glue this down. And you're going to be able to use these edges however you want in your journal. Okay, let's come over and cutting from this piece of wallpaper. And I'm gonna make a little card-ish thing to go inside here. Just cutting it down. Okay. Cut it a little more and you'll be able to write on the back of that. So put that down, that down, that down, that down. Then we're gonna take this and turn it over. And what if we take a piece of this ribbon? Okay, so Go ahead and we'll put a band across here. Tap our ribbon down, come across, and you can close it shut. You can close it with the bow or you can close it with just a little knot like we did on the other element that we made. Okay, there's that. And then take the one that had six, cut it in half so we have three. And put it right in there. Okay, so we have that one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I guess we need one more. What do we got hanging around here? Looks like we have this piece of wallpaper. So let's go ahead and rip this down. You want to make sure that your wallpaper is something that you're going to be able to um, to attach to something. Remember, we did have a piece of the mulberry paper. Let's take that out now. Quite a variety we got going on here, which I like. So all these little things can go up and be in the um, for the snippet. So I'm gonna see if I can find a little box to put the to put the snippet stuff in. Okay, so we were. This one. Oh, I don't want to cover up those flowers. So maybe we won't use that. Maybe we won't. I like I like the look of this. Okay, 
and we haven't used any of the little the little lace okay, so go ahead and line up some little lace I'm showing you several different ones you need to have at least three different they need to be at least six inches long and they need to have at least three things happening on top of them. Okay, so I'm thinking that might go on the cover. We do have this piece that we've used a little bit of it. What else can I use here? Because I used all the flowers. You know what? I have a little tiny flower over here. Um, the other thing I have is from the other time that we used a flower, we used one of these. What if we stacked the two of them? I don't think we need to stack the two, but you know what? We will use some Rapunzel hair. So around four fingers, around three fingers, around four fingers, and clip. So how is everybody out there? I am filming this on Wednesday. Wednesday. I've got to get ahead to be able to get all of the videos done for the weekends now. Okay, there's that. So just like we did with the dryer sheet. Um, ones that I made. <laughs> yes, I used a dryer sheet in this journal. We did discover that you want to use a used dryer sheet. <laughs> okay, so there I have my six unusual edges. There we go. There we go. Which one's your favorite? I love this. They're all so different. They're all so different. And then I could just go ahead and make more that are similar and I think I probably will. I think I'd like to have another one that's similar to this one. I do have some more flowers over there and another one that's similar to this one. Um, this was a Happy Meal, so I don't have another one of those envelopes. I do have a little bit more of that, but I don't have um, another piece of that. But we'll see. Okay, so um, yeah, so then these edges can be used on, on the edge of your page. So you put it like on the edge of your page. Okay, you can use it as a belly band so it can go across, across your page, either like that or like that. Okay, it could, they could also be um, 
for a pocket. So if you had a pocket, you could go ahead and put that on your pocket. Isn't that beautiful? On your flip up, flip down. Okay, so um, lots of things that you can do with these and I cannot wait to see what you do. And you can see, I just went through, picked out items that were mostly items that were like peach because I was trying to, to work with the um, Yaya collage kit from Dear Julie Julie. And I will put that on sale for the weekend, but it'll be 50% off. And the companion kit, which is the spring, I will put those two, they, were, they are on sale for 50% off in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. And so I hope you'll take advantage of that. And they are beautiful. I will put the link to the, where I did the flip through of that digital kit so that you can see what it looks like. There you go. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.